Okay, I was just sent this um, viral internet uh, math problem and thought I'd give it a go at explaining it. Uh, first of all, can I just say I'm uh, not a big fan of the phrasing of this. Uh, if you can't solve this, you're not smart. I mean, I just fundamentally don't really agree with um, calling people smart based on their ability to do one question. So I'm just going to get rid of that. You can go away. All right. Um, if you can't solve this yet, let me show you. <laughs> So the idea with this problem is that we have these letters A and B and we're told that um, A plus B is 76, um, we're told A minus B is 38 and they're asking us what is A divided by B going to be, <laughs> going to be. Um, so this is a skill in algebra that we talk about called a simultaneous equation. So the idea is that we have these uh, conditions which are applied to certain uh, letters or variables and we basically want to work out what they are. Let me look at the first equation, right? Because the issue with this question is basically, if I only look at one of the equations, there's actually infinite possibilities for it, right? For example, uh, I can say that A is 76 and B is zero. That would work for the first one. Or I could change that slightly. I can adjust them each by one. I can go 75 and one. 75 plus one, that gives me 76, right? But the issue is when we start introducing the second condition over here, um, that needs to also be fulfilled, right? That requirement needs to be satisfied as well, right? And obviously 75 minus one is not going to be 38. So the idea is I need to find some combination of numbers that not only add to 76, but also when they are subtracted by each other, they give me 38. Um, have a think if, pause the video and have a think if you know the answer for this one. All right, so you ready? So the answer is three. Now, how did we get there? Well, there's two ways. Uh, the first way is a manual process, which I will show you. But the second way uses um, this idea of simultaneous equations and the equations interacting together. So let me show you the manual way first. The first way you can actually do this is by brute force. You could actually just list out all the numbers you can think of that add to 76. And when you look at their subtraction, you can see um, whether they are 38 or not. And that's actually exactly what I've done over, over here, right? I've got an Excel spreadsheet to make my life a bit easier and automate it. So I've basically taken all the numbers um, that add to 76, so 76 and 0, 75 and 1, and then I subtracted them. And remember, I want to go up to where they, um, when they're subtracted, they give me 38, right? So all I have to do is I can look on the right-hand side. The red gives me the uh, subtraction there. And you notice that they're going down by 2 each time. So all I have to do is scroll down to where 38 is, and ooh, there it is, 57 and 19. And so that's what uh, my two values are, right? This is my A and this is my B. So when you do 57 divided by 19, you're going to get three, okay? Now, how would you work that out uh, through algebra or yeah, working out yourself? Uh, well, the trick that we use is the fact that these equations here, they're actually able to interact with each other. And what I mean by that is when you arrange them like this, these two equations, they can interact with each other like so. Um, I can actually add or subtract or I can do the operations between the two equations. So we're used to doing operations on a single equation, but you can actually do it with both as well. And the way you want to think about it is you want to think about it um, like three digit uh, addition or subtraction. And the idea is you want to get rid of one of these variables so that you just have A equals to something or B equals to something. There's a few different ways you can do it, but the easiest way to do it in this case that I can see is that um, if we add these two equations, so I'm going to add both equations, and you're going to look at all the things that can be added together. So the A's are added together, the B's are added together, and the numbers are added together, right? So let's do the A's added together first. A plus A, right? That's just going to be 2A. Now, this is why um, I chose the operation of adding, because if I subtract um, B plus negative B, well, if you take one thing and you add the negative of that, they're just going to cancel out. They're going to go away, and they're going to eliminate and this is actually called the elimination method. Um, that's just going to be zero. And then I'm going to add these two numbers here together, 76 and 38, that gives me 114. And so that leaves me with 2a is equal to 114. And so with algebra, um, if I've got two lots of something that's equal to a number, I can just divide both sides by two to give me what that number is going to be. So a is equal to 57, okay? Um, after I've done that, once you've got one of them, um, the other to find the other, it's pretty, um, 
once you've got one of them, to find the other, all you have to do is go back into the original equation and substitute it in, right? Um, now, you may be wondering, which equation do I choose? So I choose A plus B is equal to 76, or A minus B is equal to 38. It doesn't actually matter which one you choose. Um, you can choose whichever one, you'll get the same answer. I'm going to choose the first one because I like addition. So I'm going to sub A equals to 57 into the first equation. And so that's going to be 57 plus B is equal to 76. All right, and if I want to work out what B is, I want to get B by itself. I want to think about like something plus 57 gives me 76. So basically what you're doing is 76 minus 57 to work that out. Yeah? Uh, and when you do that, you're going to get 19. And that's how we could get these two variables. So once you've got those, then we have to finish the last part of the problem. What's A divided by B going to be? I did it again, A divided by B. And so that's just 57 divided by 19, and that's going to give me 3. Okay, so that's how you can work this one out. This is just 3. Another thing to note is that you can actually choose um, different operations, and this still works out. If you go ahead and try and subtract these two equations here, if you subtracted them, um, what you'd actually end up ha doing is you'd eliminate the A variable. That would also work. Um, so that's something else to consider. There's a, few, a lot of different ways to get to the same answer.